Thank you very much, Mr. Chairperson and respective to all the intellectual participants. Uh, first, I would like to thanks to organizing committee, organization to, to invite me and to share the, my experience uh, on this forum. Uh, just say this is the, the practice and the policy, what uh, in the wood is good how to make uh, wood is good for the beneficiaries and then the stakeholders level. I, I, I would like to share in my experience of our policy to this forum. Uh, generally, my presentation is focused on the general introduction of the Nepal, but I, I, I didn't like to expend more time to, to, to this chapter because already uh, four or five people already explained on it and then the status of the forest timber production in Nepal and demand and supply, where are we going and the way forward. The demand and supply it's reflect the present situation of what are the specific situation. But that means it reflects the uh, earthquake in 2016 in Nepal. At that time, this is also the fluctuate the demand and supply of the wood. Uh, this is already known where we are in Nepal. So I'd like to explain the more time on this. This is the general geographical map of Nepal represent the different region. Uh, this is also the earthquake point epicenter risk of the Nepal. Uh, this is also uh, elevation of the elevation variation of Nepal the try to the high mountain is also already explained my colleague. Uh, this is also geographic division uh, which represent the ecosystem and ecology on the basis of that. So this is proper land covered by the physiographic region. This is the Tarai Surya, this means foothill of Nepal and middle mountain and the high mountain. I, I'd like to explain the data because there is already seen over there. Uh, that means mainly the forest types is the two types in the legally explained in, uh, in, in our country or the legal document, the private forest and national forest. National forest is divided into uh, different sector in the management perspective, just like a community management forest, government managed forest and protected forest. The community based management, there is especially community, legal and religious forest, collaborative forest are the categorized under the community based management. Uh, this is the project protected area outside the outside the uh, that means it, it, it is not focused on the utilization just like a protected area conservation area wildlife uh, um, pro protected and the biodiversity conservation perspective way this this cover the uh, 23.32 percent in the protected area in Nepal total forest uh, conservation strategy of Nepal that's like a uh, I think Shinji Wei, when he worked in the Ishi mode, at that time he know little bit, then uh, 16 to 80 established the more conservation strategy at the species protection, protection and then uh, legally force that at that time we did not apply the participant and then when 90s we integrated conservation and development and then initiate the public participation and after that after 2000s on landscape labor conservation and improve the ecosystem health and community based livelihood improvement. I think it is the that like after 90s we make the participatory approach in different level working level, policy making level and monitoring levels. This is the just uh, put the photograph in practice in our country development of the protected area scenario is the just like a, a 60 to 70s and then it is increased the uh, 19 to uh, 2010 like now we are in strict levels because we are not increasing the uh, protected area we are maintaining the those which version and fact figure the forest land water mineral principle natural resource nepal forest is under extensive and the use of ecosystem it, it is the everywhere in the similar the forest now we have a 44.7 percent in uh, forest area total of the country uh, the forest type of nepal vary from the sub to the Alpine, I uh, already know the 60 meter to the 8,884 meter and then there are the 35 major forest types and then 100 
18 ecosystem in Nepal. Now, uh, earliest we, we have had the uh, forestry sector master plan and then we, we revised the 2017 that's plan revise and re revision review and then we make a uh, forest policy and forest strategy by establishing those those community forest we have the protected and we have the uh, potential production and so we we make the policy uh, forest for the prosperity by establishing the four pillar sustainable management of the forest and enabling the environment market and business model of the community property and the government property. A prioritized area of the forestry recent year, year I, I already told it improvement of the community based management modality community forest development program we have the more than 20,000 community based organization which we have to promote the uh, productive way and then to 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 promote the prosperity of the uh, local peoples pro poor legal forest more than uh, 7,000 groups uh, it's covered uh, 40,510 hectares like it's a scenario of the uh, community legal collaborative and the protected forest area now the proportion of total forest area outside the park protected area 36.78% uh, of the forest is Managed as handed over to the community level, and the similarly leasehold and then protected area total uh, 41.75 percent of the forest area is handed over to the community level. So uh, I think it's also um, my already one presented my colleague uh, it pre presented. The most of the species are the Soria robusta, Corcus, Terminalia, and then Pinus roxburghii are the main species. Uh, timber wood. Uh, this is the growing stock of the 2099, 178. Now it, is, it seems um, to 164.76 cubic meter per hectare. Uh, the demand and supply, just like the current. Uh, situation the uh, the volume million cubic meters uh, like this and then supply scenario is the uh, current very low and conservative the scenario uh, this an optimum scenario uh, like this a few uh, most of the uh, local area uh, that means uh, Tarai hill and mountain the fuel would most of the supply uh, demand scenario uh, like this that's like the tarai uh, they 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 couldn't get the fuel wood and then they they uh, use the uh, cow dung for the purpose of the fuel wood the potential timber productions uh, uh, Total steam volume million cubic hectare. The hillside is uh, like a uh, uh, 170.5 million hectares, and then Tarai uh, uh, 187.88 uh, the nine eight, and total annual increment is uh, like this. Uh, the assumption is increment rate is 1.5 percent pursuing the growing species at least the volume recommended is 1 percent and the fast growing species it is about the 3 percent. So this production is how why it projected here if we are going to the scientific forest management and the management of the forest uh, gradually we can supply the, uh, the wood to the local level and then uh, to user levels and the industry levels. Uh, they, they like this uh, earthquake damage scenario of the Nepal, it is also increased the high demand of the uh, timber and the fuel wood and then uh, in different sectors that like a private household, a school and health service, government service and temple and then other uh, historical places also affected. That like is a um, damage the historical monument and the religious at the temple side. 
So post disaster recommendation, what we are doing, national recommendation authority, those who is the government are uh, uh, form this authority, the stakeholder, they are the coordinating each others and the how to supply the wood, or supply the timber to reconstruct the damage uh, site of the different um, stakeholders. The timber requirement of the reconstruction and the efforting of the damage infrastructure, how you can supply, that means we must have the manage the scientific forest management to extract the, uh, the mature forest uh, through the uh, forest area, then we supply and then we uh, disseminate the things and the conservation, this is the uh, scenario of the rural area and the urban area, how, how, how much uh, volume it is like that and the post disaster recommendation timber demand like this and then uh, this is also I will accelerate the forest how to make the quality uh, timber that means before the decaying the uh, hardwood the before that we have to harvest and then we supply the uh, quality timbers and then uh, uh, this is the uh, present scenario of the Nepal, how we are importing the uh, wood from the uh, different country like uh, Myanmar, Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, Laos, uh, Cameroon, Vietnam, China, Ghana according to our data. So that if we are the managing the our existing forest, we can fulfill the our requirement and then we can also sell the timber outside the country. We have to revise our policy. Wood is good, good utilization culture in Nepal, which is, uh, which is we organized at the 2016 in Nepal. At that time, the, our team also were there, some of we are. And then the wood utilization culture in Nepal, ha, uh, this is different type of uh, house making, decoration, and the dancing and the wood vessels. These are the main um, essential and then who is said the wood is good, who is available the wood on their hand and then they realize it. So uh, that is, this is the forest area I already said that and the, what is the political, uh, that means key challenges in the forest I think in not only Nepal everywhere like this, the, this is the forest encroachment around the uh, encroachment is the everywhere and then we have also uh, 0.1 million hectare is the encroach and the uh, forest area is the being the huge non-forestry purpose just like a university, college and then the playground in this way uh, 14,000 hectares used like this way low priority of forestry sector as the national and sub-national level sorry uh, and then increase the forest fire incident more than uh, 0.1 million hectare area is the being the bond per year and this is also affect the regeneration extreme level of the poverty deficiency in the forest resource 70 percent of the fuel load and 40 percent of the supply of the forest is fodder supply of the forest this is also the pressurized in the level high level of the land vulnerability in the soil erosion this is the scenario of the uh, uh, the government of Nepal prioritized the efficient the timber management, organizing the management, human resource development, technological development, just like uh, we are going to the management, scientific management uh, of the forest in different areas, Tarai to the Arbit, and then timber harvesting management, diversification, value addition, just like uh, promoting the market and then environment, environment and of scaling the management of the activity, private forest promotion and investment practice we are going and we are practicing forest for prosperity for it and then sustainable scientific forest management just like a scenario of this um, picture and thank you very much I am representing from the Himalayan country so